Hey, this is Rachel from The Life Facilitator and I am sharing a flip through of all of the different ways I used the Coco Daisy bookish collection. Um, and spoiler, this is not even all of the ways I used it. So I have very little of this collection left. I did an, I was pretty proud of myself because I um, basically crushed this kit. So I have a couple sticker sheets left. Um, and that's, that's all for stickers. And then I have a couple papers left, you know, a couple enamel dots, some stick, some tabs, um, a couple papers, uh, none. I used all of the rub-ons. Um, and then the simple dory but i don't i don't mind holding on to papers papers can be used you know over with lots of different things so my goal each month is to try to use up the things that are going to be hard to pair or add to other things in the future so let's get into it let's start with planner pages so i did end up making a cover with two of the papers and this little clear cover is from the happy planner so i just literally cut the paper down to size i did white paper on the inside so it matched and yeah super love that great ways great way to use the papers from the planner kit um so for march um you know here's what my monthly looked like um pretty pretty basic monthly. Um, I kind of had a lot going on this month and so I didn't want to do too much to the monthly at the start and um, but use some of the classic stickers um, and icons and things. Um, I'm going to take these out just because it'll be easier to see. Um, I set up the month the same for every week so my schedule things up top, my to do's and then my like favorites from today and um some weeks are are a little bit more full than others and some weeks are more decorated than others too which is how i like it um i made a dashboard or a, or a page marker with clear acetate and then some rub-on stickers all sorts of things so that was fun to make um Here's a more decorated week, March Madness, which is like my favorite time of year. Um, and yeah, um, actually cut out a pocket card. Um, just use kind of a variety of things. And then this is the final week of March and I haven't even added to it, mostly because I'm kind of moving into my other setup right now. Um, so yeah, you can see how I use the um, color block page. I basically use it the same. When I use it, I use it the same way. Brain, sort of a brain dump of all the to-dos on the back and then sort of a categorized to-do on the front. And these, this is not a stamp, it is my handwriting. And so yeah, so that's the classic Coco Daisy inserts um, from the bookish collection. Next, let's talk about my um, catch-all planner. So I, I've been using two sets of classic inserts and it's just because I can right now, I have the time to sort of play around with both, but I am definitely loving the Villa Beautiful inserts. And so um, I did not use the bookish collection every week, but I did use it in certain places. So like here, I used it um, to, to cover up and customize the dashboard in on the monthly page. And then um, I used it to decorate one of the weeks and I mostly used the classic planner, the classic sticker kit um, the planner add-on kit, and then um, some stamps and things along the way. Love how it turned out. Just the classic sticker kit is such a great 
sticker kit for this type of planner. And then, um, yeah, I'll do a full fl flip through of this. I have a couple, couple weeks in here that I'll flip through later, but just wanted to show another way that I've used the Coco Daisy bookish collection. Next up, I, for my daily planner, I planned and decorated basically the whole month of March using the kit. So here is the monthly and I stuck to rub-ons and stamps and stickers um, so that I can keep the, the bulk down. And then um, for the weekly dailies, here's a look at the first week of March. And I have a reel on my Instagram that shares how I go back and decorate after the day. So my days are usually pretty, um, pretty just pen and paper, and then I'll go back and add some decoration. But yeah, I used a lot of the memory keeping sticker kit and stamps. Um, here's the second week. Um, and then use the planner add on kit stickers to redate um, the pages. And here's another look. So all of the weeklies are using the bookish collection and then most of the weekdays have the bookish collection with some things from my stash as well. Um, and yeah, so this is where we are now. Um, and I haven't totally set up the to do's yet, but yeah, you get a sense of how I'm using this. So again, another way that I use the bookish collection and I will, I'll list out what I received in the bookish collection just so that it, it helps you get a sense of what I'm getting and then how much I'm able to use it. Um, in my memory journal, I was able to make a spread using embellishments from the bookish collection. And then these um, stickers from Mojo Jojo Plans. They're just these like big box stickers and they worked really beautifully together. Really liked how they, um, this worked out. So again, another way that I was able to use the collection. Um, and then I used it in my personal like wellness journal. So here I used it to create a habit tracker. Um, and I did that for several of the weeks. And then um, on the weeklies, I, I use this as like a morning pages journal. So I add like things I'm listening to in a podcast or like questions I'm like list questions I can answer. So, um, the insert itself is from the bookish collection and that's ultimately what I like used the most. Um, and then also use things for my stash and then added little like embellishments along the way. Um, but yeah, I just, this has been so great and is such a great use of the Daisy Dory any size. It doesn't have to be this size. It could be any size. Um, I just love, I absolutely love the Daisy Dory for any sort of like journaling, um, or note taking. That's so great. The paper is lovely. This, I know I'm going to get asked. This cover is from the planner society. It's no longer available. Um, but I'll leave some links to other Daisy week or weeks size covers. All right, let's get into memory keeping and how I used it for memory keeping. Um, first off, I did a few small, scrap small layouts. Let me, if I can find them, here we go. Um, so my goal this month was to do three small scale spreads and I was successful. So here I have a spread. It's actually two spreads, um, but the first part of the spread is a currently list of what I've been listening to during certain points in my day. And um, I used the printable, the paper printable from the month as the like 
background and then this is paper from the collection photo of me some pocket cards and then this is also paper from the printable one i think this is the classic sheet um, a simple spread but uh, kind of an important spread for kind of where i'm going this year and then i have this fun spread which is uh, <laughs> a day of chilling reading cat in the lap husband playing nba jams so this was a fun spread to put together and definitely was inspired by this traveler's notebook card um so yeah three spreads in here actually four i have one more um and where where did i put it huh. i don't know what binder i put it in oh you know what i know what binder it is i'll be right back ironically this is the only book related spread that i did with the bookish collection but these were the recent books i've read um, and I added a little bit of journaling just about kind of my reading journey right now. And then on this side, I did a little bit of like a review of the, of the books and yeah, this was super fun to put together. Um, and I hope to continue to do more book spreads like this. Um, okay. Then... Last up, we've got memory planning. So I have one spread in from January. Um, and you'll notice that January is in a ring binder as opposed to my like in process memory planners in discs. I have another video sharing my like decision to do this and I'm still very glad I did. Um, all right, so here is the bookish spread using January items. This again is a, a slip from the planner printable. Um, and um, this is a mix of like papers from the collection and then stamps from my stash. So it's a little bit of mix and matching. Um, but yeah, I love this spread and I just love the little pops of color and the little embellishment, um, a much more simple spread, but I, I, I really like it. Um, so yeah, so that's one spread that I did with bookish and then my, I have a couple of. Well, I have one completed spread. So here's the spread that I have that's completed. And what I did for, I think I have a video of this. What I did for this spread is I actually did the entire spread other than the photos first. So I decorated first, added the photos later. And this was so fun to do. And I'm so glad I did this this way. It was like a fun challenge to like decorate first, add photos later. Um, and yeah, very, like very pleased with how this turned out and then what i have for the rest of march because i'm a little bit behind is i do have a couple of the weeks with um just a little bit of embellishment um like the the sidebar and then like yeah like first day of spring um so a lot of use of this collection as you can see and there are still more things I could do. So um, I hope this video was helpful to see that with one collection, you really can get <laughs> a lot of a lot of use out of it. So thanks for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, consider subscribing. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.